British actress Dawn French has recently dropped a whopping 50 plus kilograms. The 55 year old comedian proves that age is no barrier to shedding those kilos. That's right. And here with the secret her, of her weight loss success and the key to keeping middle aged weight gain at bay, health and fitness expert Amelia Burton. Good morning, Amelia. Good morning. Now, this is a fantastic result for, yes. you know, for Dawn. She's publicly battled yep. the bulge all of her life, hasn't yep. she? So, how yep. did she do it? Well, there's actually a bit of speculation around how she did it. Um, a lot of people think that she did it through lap band surgery, Ooh. but she absolutely says that she didn't. She says she's been following a sensible diet. She's cut out all high glycemic index foods, so pasta, bread, um, chocolate, biscuits, cakes, that sort of thing. She's increased her activity. She looks she's amazing. She's just been yeah. sensible about it, is what she said. Well, why do you think she's been so successful with her weight loss, Amelia? Look, one of the interesting things with Dawn is it's got nothing to do with vanity. Her mm. motivation behind it was quite a, a, a deep-seated one which was to be there for her daughter she's got an adopted daughter Billy and she wanted to make sure that she was there for her daughter she said she's got a lot of adventures left in her life and her body she felt like her body wasn't keeping up with it so I think that and then the fact that she hates the word diet she loves you know she wanted to be more sensible about her approach and she said she increased her exercise so it sounds reasonably straightforward and sounds sensible. like just common sense well, it does, yeah it I know does, but the older you know the older we get the harder yep. it is to kind of keep the weight off. Is yep. that true or is it an excuse that we kind of hide behind? Well, look, there are no excuses, Sonia, when it comes <laughs> to weight loss, but we have to be realistic that age is a little bit of a barrier. Um, firstly, our metabolism slows by about 5% every decade. So a 35-year-old um, will actually be burning 100 less calories per day than a 25-year-old, which is equivalent to about a banana a day. A 45-year-old, 200 less calories. So if you're 45 um, compared to a 25-year-old, you'd be putting on weight if you ate those two extra bananas a day. We become less active as well as we get older, you know, labour-saving devices, your remote controls, uh, driving more in cars, um, emotional eating. So throughout our life, we have this little backpack of emotional baggage. And as we get older, we often fill that backpack with things like emotional eating, binging, that sort of thing. Sure. And we can't avoid hormonal changes, especially both men, but particularly women as well. Mm, okay, so if age is the hurdle, then what should yep. we be doing and what should we be eating? Yep, so it is all works. about, the, ultimately it's about um, balancing out your hormones and it's about stoking that metabolism fire. So I've got a few don'ts and a few do's for okay. you. So I'll start with the don'ts. Um, and the first thing is don't skip breakfast. Yeah, totally. Yeah, that's a really, really important one. Um, a lot of the people, in fact, everybody I know that struggles with weight loss will be skipping breakfast. So I know, I do that all the time. You skip breakfast? Mm -hmm. Oh, Sonia. Mm -hmm. no, she's not. Oh, okay, we have to talk. Bad, young lady, we have to talk. Um, don't diet. So if you go on a diet... See, I do that all the time. Oh, Sonia! <laughs> you're like the worst case why scenario. You, and, and why are I you mean, not... look at you. Why do you look like this? What's in your attic? What's the picture in your I attic I only like? eat on Tuesdays. <laughs> <laughs> and let me guess, you eat high GI food? Yes! Because that's what you shouldn't be doing. Okay, well, let me talk about the do's, Sonia. Okay. Pay yeah. attention. Right. <laughs> okay, so the first thing is you want to eat more uh, in the first half of the day. So um, the saying is eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince and dinner like a pauper. Sorry, I thought that was just bad, bad grammar. You've got to eat more early. Eat like, more early. Uh, like, like, yeah. No, no, no. It's, 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 eat more Yes, early. in the first half of the I day. I get it. You also got, um, need to learn about portion sizes. So would you have any idea what a 300 calorie meal looks no. like? No, and I was reading it last night and you're saying <laughs> you learn to recognise what 1200 calories look, yep. looks like. I have no idea yep. what that looks okay. like. Okay, alright. Well that's another segment we can do another okay. time. But you all need right. to understand so recognise we've been doing this show for five months and we've learned nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, we've family. learned a lot. We've applied nothing. <laughs> yeah, That's exactly. the difference. And low GI foods? Yes, yeah, so um, follow Dawn French's um, idea of having lower GI foods, particularly at lunchtime. When you have low GI foods, which is your green leafy vegetables, things like barley, um, grainy bread, it will stop the afternoon munchies yeah. because it takes a lot longer for your body to process that. So you won't get that, oh, I need a chocolate bar. Well, and she's time. actually outlawed chocolate at home now, yes. hasn't she? She only has it at yep. Christmas. She, she says it's against the law. 
Wow. What about quickly? We're going to go in a minute, but quickly, yep. just diet uh, 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 training tips. Does she does she go yep. to the gym? Yeah. Um, like okay. So uh, with Dawn, she doesn't. She didn't actually talk too much about what she did. She was quite balanced with it. But certainly, when it does come to exercise, it's all about boosting your metabolism. So what you want to be oh, doing? Sorry about is, that shot. <laughs> <laughs> what, you, what you want to be doing is you want to be stoking your metabolism by um, by burning lots of calories in the session. So that's your huff and puff. But yeah. you also need to be building lean muscle mass. So David, I know you said you're a little bit sore from doing some weights mm. the other day. That's really good. You're burning lean muscle mass. Oh, well, good on you. I didn't have breakfast bad, Sonia. Oh, David's training nice, David. <laughs> oh, my God. Just kidding. Wow, I'm just fighting. Kidding. Mommy and Daddy are fighting on TV, kids. Look, we'll just go to event. Thanks, Amelia. Oh.